Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and I don't know about you guys, but recently I have been getting a lot of ads on my Facebook and Instagram from Meshki in which they are showcasing celebs wearing their items. And the ad that really caught my attention was this one right here of Ariana Grande, my absolute queen, wearing one of their outfits in her Seven Rings videos. And when I saw this ad, I knew that I had to get that set. And it got me thinking that these ads probably have the same effect on a lot of other people. So I thought it'd be fun, since I'm a clothing review channel, to go onto Meshki and buy a bunch of celeb outfits to see what they look like in real life. So let's just get on into it. All right, the first outfit, of course, has to be the one that Ariana Grande wore. So it's firstly this pink, crop top that I love and to match with that it has these pink long pants that are gorgeous now I was actually eyeing this off on Meshki because I don't know about you guys but on my favorite websites I like refresh what's new once a day because I have a shopping addiction but I actually wanted this before Ari wore it because I thought it was such a cute casual yet not casual set so the top looks to be well made it isn't double lined but it is a nice thick material it's also stretchy which is good because looking at this crop top it looks to be quite small but hopefully when I put it on it's able to stretch out and the same thing goes for the pants they keep like falling because they're quite heavy which I like because it means they've used a nice thick material so they are very thick and stretchy as well this was actually the most expensive thing I bought it for this video these pants were 109 Aussie dollars and this top was $59 now again my usual disclaimer when doing Australian stores Australian stores are more expensive just because that's how our currency is economy is I don't know I get confused I'm, I'm, I'm not studying finance okay I don't really know but things in Australia do cost more but in saying that this is still quite expensive but I mean if you do get a lot of use out of it which I will because pink is my favorite color then I think it can be worth it and a bit of an investment let's go try these on and see how they look and really hope that they look good because I really want to look good in these and wear them every day for the rest of my life all right this is what the set looks like on an eye adore it. It is super high waisted. I kept like pulling it up and up and up and I didn't think it was ever gonna end but it's very high waisted and I love it. Now I have some long legs and I know that Ariana is quite short so I was a little concerned that these pants were gonna be really short but they are actually really long. It's like they fit my long legs perfectly so not too sure. Maybe her stylist like tailored them to fit her or something because these would be massive on her. I'm pretty sure me should come up to like here so yeah these definitely fit really well and I just love it. It's such a comfortable set. I feel like a Barbie doll or like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde on a day off and I just love it. So this is the front and this is the back and it just fits perfectly. I actually think it might be worth the price if it's something that you're going to wear a lot. If you're not going to wear the pants very much and the top don't go for it. But if you know that you're gonna wear it a lot, then I do think it might be worth the price. Like for me personally, I think this with the denim jacket would be a great casual outfit. So it's definitely worth it for me. It just depends if you do wanna splurge that much on one outfit. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one. All right, the next item worn by a celebrity from Meshki was Shay Mitchell, who I'm sure you guys all know from Pretty Little Liars. She was actually my favorite character on Pretty Little Liars. I used to be obsessed with that show. So when I saw that Shay had worn something from Meshki, I knew that I wanted to try it for this video. And this is the top that she wore. So it is a black off the shoulder silk top that just has this knot detail on the front. So this looks to be really nice. The only thing is there is like a massive thread hanging off here, but I guess that would have just been left on it from sewing it. But the top looks really gorgeous. I think it could be from Meshki's resort collection, because I was just gonna say something like this would be great for vacation or when you're on holidays. Those are the same thing. But yeah, I really, really like this top and it's actually quite exciting because this isn't something that I would normally wear, but holding it here, I think that I like it. And this top also wasn't that expensive. It was $35, which is pretty good. So I'm very excited to try this on. I think that it will be pretty good. It looks to be really good quality because it is a nice silk material 
material that has the silk on the front and they've just lined it with a different material on the inside so it's not going to be see-through because y'all know I hate when black clothing items are see-through and this one is not going to be because they've used nice material so let's go try it on and see if we can look like Shea Mitchell and this is what the top Shea Mitchell wore looks like on it now unfortunately it is too big and I have to hold the top up here because I'm honestly concerned that if I let it go this video will get demonetized because I think it'll just be showing way too much. Unfortunately, it's a bit big on me. Apart from that, it is made really nicely. Like, I do love how it looks. I'm just going to have to sew it because it is a very nice top and I would love to wear this on maybe Sundays, like Sunday sessions. Is that a thing worldwide? I don't know. Basically on Sundays, like with your friends, people go out like clubbing, but it's not clubbing. It's basically clubbing, but more chill. And I think something like this would be great. So this is the front and then we have the back. But yeah, sewing skills are definitely going to have to come out on this one. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit me, which is a bit disappointing. But Shane Mitchell is a little bit bigger chested than I am. So maybe that's the issue. But apart from that, if I am able to fix this top, it is really nice. So the next item worn by a celebrity was worn by a Kardashian. I mean, I couldn't do this video without including something that the Kardashians wore because I feel like they are always on Meshki's Instagram. And as such, most items that they have worn are out of stock. I mean, I really wanted this dress that Kylie wore out of stock. This bikini candle wore out of stock. Well, in my size at least. So the only item that I could get my hands on that was worn by a Kardashian, it was worn by Kylie Jenner. And it is this plain white crop top. Now, it looks to be pretty well made. They have double lined and it is their nice, somewhat stretchy material. So it looks really nice. I mean, it's just a basic white crop top. So I got it in a size excess and it looks like it'll fit me well. It doesn't look too small or anything. So I am excited to try it on, but I just hope that it's not too see-through because items like this can sometimes be see-through and then it just becomes a mess with what kind of bra to wear underneath. So hopefully it'll be a good staple item if it fits well and I will just feel like a Kardashian knowing that Kylie has the exact same one. So let's put it on. This is what the crop top that Kylie Jenner wore looks like on. So this is the front and then we have the back and I am very happy to report that it is not see-through This is actually a really good quality crop top They have spent time on it by double lining it and that way it's not see-through which is just amazing So I've had it with these pants. These are actually from Meshki as well They're from my Amber Shawl and Meshki review and I thought this was such a cute outfit I love it and <laughs> it just shows that you really can't style this crop top in any way because I've styled it like this whereas Kylie wore it with these gorge pants maybe to work out I don't know but I really really like this top and can definitely see why Kylie wore it and I mean for $30 to get this nice white crop top that I'm gonna be wearing all the time I definitely think it's worth it if it's a basic like this that you're gonna be rocking all the time it's worth to spend that little bit more that way you know you're gonna get a good quality item so I'm very impressed with this one too it's going well so far this haul maybe the celebs do know what they're talking about <laughs> this next item was worn by the american dj and model chantel chantel jeffries and i really could not wait for this to arrive because it is in my style i've actually wanted this dress for quite some time and again it was a perfect excuse to buy it i mean that just seems to be what this whole video is like i've wanted this for a while and i finally had a reason to buy it but this is the dress it is this gorgeous shimmery gold dress that has the tiny little straps on top now i am obsessed with this style of dress i have this dress in two other colors, red and orange, and then I have the bodysuit version in a nude color and blue. And I just love this dress. It would be perfect for nights out. I hope it doesn't clash with my skin tone too. Oh, okay, it may, might make me look like I'm not wearing anything, but that's not to do with the dress, that's me. I'll just tan if I wanna wear this, but it is gorgeous. So I am a little bit nervous about the size of this dress. So I've noticed after like buying from Meshki from quite some time, the items can sometimes run small but it's kind of hard to guess which items run small so the other dresses of these I have them in a size s but I ordered this in an excess honestly because I forgot I'm usually an excess but I sized up for those dresses so hopefully this isn't too tight on me but the photo of the model slash DJ she looks stunning in this dress so if I can look half like that I will be very happy but let's try it on and this is what this dress looks like on so this is the front 
and this is the back. Now, unfortunately, this is actually a little bit more see-through than the other two dresses in this style that I own. I have to wear a bra underneath this one, whereas normally I don't, like, I don't need to, but this one is just a little bit more see-through. And I think it's because normally on their dresses, they use two layers with a nice thick material to double layer their clothing items, whereas on this one, they have one layer of that nice thick material, and then the second is this sheer uh, sparkly one. So it just makes it a little bit more see-through, which is slightly disappointing. Apart from that, I really like this dress. It fits me well as well. So I don't really know <laughs> what size in these dresses I am. Maybe I'm an XS and an S, and I can just wear both. I don't know, but it fits good, and I do really like this dress. I'm definitely going to be wearing this out. I'm sure you guys will see on my Instagram soon that I will wear this somewhere, but I do think I might tan, because I just think it's that little bit too close to my skin tone, where some people may, out in like the real world, do a double take. You know when like you just catch someone walking in the corner of your eye? I think if they saw this, it might look like I'm naked or like not wearing anything. So I do just want to tan a little bit. But I mean, it is a nice dress and I'm pretty happy with this one. The last celeb outfit from Meshki is actually a two-piece and I love two-pieces. I think they are my favorite type of clothing to wear because they're just so much more fun in my opinion. And this was actually worn by a supermodel. And it is firstly this gorgeous black button-up top here. So it is that nice satin material, same as the one that Shea Mitchell wore. And then we have the matching pants. So these are just some long satin dress pants. And this, again, I don't know what size to get them in because I have a pair of pants similar to these in red. Not the exact same, but similar. And I got them in an excess and they are way too tight, even though extra small is usually my size. So I got these in a size small and I just hope that they're not going to be too big. But as far as the quality of this set goes, it's standard mesh key. Like, it is black satin that has been double lined, which we love, and it's not going to be see-through at all. I definitely need to iron these pants, but that's not on them. That's just after being in the mail. So I'm really excited to try these on and see how they fit. So let's do it. And this is what the last outfit looks like on. Unfortunately, I did not get the pants right, and they are too big. So I just, I don't know what size I'm meant to wear. Extra small is too small and small is too big. So I have tied them up at the back with a hair tie so you can see what it looks like if you actually get it in the right size, unlike me. But apart from ordering the wrong size, which is my fault, this is a really nice set. I feel so stylish and fashionable in it. This with some shades with like a designer bag. Do I own a designer bag? No, but that's okay. <laughs> I think it would look amazing. Or just a nice bag. Like, I think it would look so gorgeous. And as I said earlier, these will look great separately. I actually think that these pants will look really good with the Shea Mitchell top. They would look gorgeous together and that would be a cute Sunday sesh outfit. So it is a good outfit in the sense that you can really change it up. Though, apart from ordering the wrong size, I do really like this outfit. And that is what celebrity outfits from Meshki look like in real life. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know what website I should review celebrity outfits from next, because I have so much fun filming this, and I've got some real gorge items that I can't wait to wear, so I am down to make another one of these videos. And to be sure that you see that, be sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications because YouTube has been annoying and not notifying everyone. So if you want to know when I upload, that is the best way to turn on your post notifications. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, and also my vlog channel, Annalise's Life. All of those links, as always, on the screen right now and also down below. And that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it, and I will see you next time. Bye!